Hello everybody, welcome back to another video for my thoughts behind runs and this is um Speed of Doom uh, map 13 Lucifer's Tears and I have actually um just get rid of this first uh, I have done um, map 10 and map 11 and I'll do that later because um, I didn't have time to do it and I actually want to share some thoughts behind the runs so yeah, let's jump to level 13 right now and make a save. Okay, and the start is kind of tough because all these uh, demons blocking your way and your goal is to get the shotgun, get the berserk pack and get the chain gun and run across this trench. So, I uh, usually do like this and be careful like you can, you may be hit by the aim like that and get the chain gun and run across the trench and kill these two shotgunners and the thing is you notice the red tint of the berserk pack right and sometimes you may get hit without being noticed but you can see the item count is five that means one berserk pack and a uh, four four health potions so that means 104 health is correct and I usually take on these two shotgunners from uh, the right side, I don't know why I usually got hit if I take them on on the left side. Mm, I think there's totally confirmation bias, so just ignore that. Just pick whatever side you are comfortable with. Okay, so let's do it again. And the next part is kind of involved of luck. It's here and uh, not here. So go in and hit the switch. Go out, uh, get hit. So you can see, there are a bunch of shotgunners teleporting in. Even you clear all those Hell Knights and then you buy it. You, all, uh, you still have a chance getting hit by the shotgunner. That's why I usually run for it. And this is the only luck based part I was talking about. So, yeah, it's kind of okay that you put it at the beginning because if you put it at the end of the map that will be a painful uh, would be a pain because you may like you get unlucky you have to do the run all over again so get a chain gun and kill these two just go in and sometimes the hell knight will fire you ah didn't do it Sometimes the Hell Knight will fire at you when you hit the switch, probably you cannot dodge that, so that is another luck factor. And while you're running back, usually there is uh, there is one shot gonna take falling in. Uh, I I shot him just now, but I still got hit. So let's do it again. Yeah, probably all my attempts, uh, most of my attempts fail at the beginning. Because this definitely needs some luck. Okay. Then, because this door is triggered by a line death, uh, both behind the door and in front of the door, so the door will shut, but don't close, uh, don't, don't open it. So I usually will try to kill that imp in the trench first for, no for now, and don't drop down to the trench, because sometimes this shotgun can shot through those, um, sh shot, uh, shoot through the cage. Okay. And just be careful, usually kill all the demons first. And then use this corner to kill all the all those rest um the rest of the enemies. Including a bunch of shotgunners. Maybe like six or seven more. And sometimes they cannot all teleport in, so be very careful about that. Usually the kill count is like 27, 28, they stop coming. So you have to go like here. And you will see more. Ho! Oh! I ran off. Chain gun ammo. That's bad. <laughs> Also, it was a long time for map 10 and map 11. I, uh, I mean map, map 11 and map 12. So I may need to 
take some time to reveal my strategies. You can stand right here. Oh god. My gameplay is just horrible today. Got hit by the aim. And actually, most of the part you don't actually need a Berserk pack, so you can get it later. Uh, no, I think about it. Nah, you actually need it for some like Spectre's punching. Yeah, so like the f the beginning part is kind of annoying because most of the time you you may just get hit by the by the heat scanners. Apparently, he cannot aim. That's a good thing. Okay, so get the backpack right here and get all the shotgun ammo. We definitely need those and run across this pit. And be careful about this door. Because I said this door is triggered by uh, the closing of this. Well, nice, nice shot. The closing, um, the closing of this door is triggered by a line depth, so this door will remain open if you do something like this. Just go around the corner and shoot. Kill count should be 44, that means like 40 with uh, 2 Hell Knights and 2 Mangubai left. That should be the correct number. If you want to save ammo, just make them to infight with each other, but usually I... What the heck? Why I am... Why am I suck at this game? Probably because I, I got up just now, so... Wow. Yeah, you can see sometimes the the Hell Knight or the Mangubite can shot at you like this. So, remember to hug the wall. Oh, nice. That's why... I said don't stand in front of the door for too long because they may get the angle to hit you and you may get shot by the shotgunners. Well this this video is not going well like the last one, I guess. Okay 44 that means all clear. You can see this door like that the line depth is right there and also right here, like this. So you don't have to close it. Um, another thing you can do is when you run into this room, you can go backward and open this door all over again, and you can see the door won't shut, right? And you can hit switch and then escape the room without opening the door. But I usually just leave the door closed and open the door because this is a fast door. It's not the, the slow one. Okay, get the rest go and all the ammo. Oh, I'm run across again. And I usually don't like to deal with all these enemies because there's a difficult part coming up. If you deal with all these enemies and uh, you get hit by the at the difficult part, it's kind of like a waste of time, right? Okay. So open this red skull door, two chain gunners on the right and a revenant in the middle. And also there's an a I uh, my my gameplay just so bad. And there's um there's a shotgun and another revenant behind the cage. So I usually kill all those things and it seems the the shotgunner is killed by the revenant. 
Oh, the Hell Knight is coming. This is very good. Sometimes the Hell Knight will stuck upstairs. This is not very good. And then, I would usually like to do something like this. Because there's a, there's a chain gunner behind this cage. And you can see his feet, right? Kill him like this. And sometimes the, the Arachnitron can help, but not always. Okay, here's the most annoying part, in my opinion. Oh, just get in and kill this shotgun right away. And if you stand in front of these, this cage, like this, you may trigger your shotgun right there and trigger a Mancubus. And you can see the shotgun is here. And there, there will be actually a Mancubus. Um, you can see this this red triangle here is the Mancubus you, you trigger. And you can actually see like this. And like here, we will trigger the Mancubus. Oh no. Here triggers the, the shotgunner, which is this one. And here will trigger the Mancubus, which is this one. And this is not very good because we don't want the, the, the disturbance of these monsters. So I usually do, what I usually do is just leave that Baron right there and kill this imp first. Then step on here and kill this imp. You probably need to walk a little bit forward. If you do something like this, you, you cannot hit the imp. And you will trigger a Mancubus. Don't go up the stairs, just wait for the Mancubus. And kill this Mancubus right here. Hopefully it's the same Mancubus I was talking about. Remember... Okay. So there's... There are two choices. The first one I have to do is uh, the the first one I wanted to do is to kill this Baron by uh, by the single shotgun in a long distance, which is very annoying. So I actually changed my strategy here. So usually I like to go like two steps up, and you can see the two shotgun is right here, right? One, two, and you trigger two of them, or I mean both of them. But you may get shot like this, right? So, you remember that here can trigger a shotgunner? So I usually use this part to trigger sh that shotgunner first. Then use the stairs to trigger another shotgunner. Wait. Wait, what? Why? Why did that some work? Huh, it's funny. Should be this part, uh, yeah, this part to trigger this, this one. Hopefully I cannot hear the yelling sound. Yeah, like this. Then, just run for it. Get the plasma rifle. Don't hit this switch just yet. And probably you can trigger some in fight. Just try your best. Huh. I'm so bad at this game. Let's do it again. Kill him. Just run. Ugh. If the Mancubus is blocking your way, you probably need to retreat here and deal with them like this. Because this, if you're standing like, next to the step, the Baron cannot hit you and all other imps cannot hit you. But it's not that good because we have to use all our ammo to deal with the monsters. Okay. All the stuff, and you can stand right here. It's safe. Snipe up all those imps on the pillars. Just be very careful because this is the uh, boom map, so sometimes they can drop off. So in my real one, there's an imp coming all the way here. Just want to like scratch me. Didn't work though. There are three imps right here. 
just pay attention to the surrounding because wait where's where are those oh they kill all the revenants huh In interesting so I would like to deal with these arachnitrons first or the imps use the plasma rifle just don't just don't save too much doesn't need to oh I didn't ah I yeah sometimes you can trigger invites like this ah, I'm not very satisfied with this video though the problem is that but I don't want to do it all over again for now well maybe next time I just don't want to wait that's why I kill this mancubus right here but you can see you can retreat back there and kill the mancubus I just use the plasma rifle to deal with him and this is a good spot for you to make the red electrons shoot at the uh, shoot at the revenants. Ah, uh, but it doesn't do it. Well, do deal with him first. Let's try it again. Oh, okay. Hopefully that works. Deal with the Ratnatron like this. Ho! Oh, I don't know. Oh well, you can see the barons right here. So don't stand right here, huh? Good to know, huh? Then there are a bunch of imps. Right there. Because this part is in an open area, so it's very easy to get hit by some of these things. Because eh, you cannot really pay attention to all the directions. Huh? Hit the switch and be careful about this trap. Uh, usually, I will use the plasma rifle to deal with it because you have a. Uh, but you probably have to know how many, how much cell you have. Wait, okay, get the yellow skull. Open the yellow bar, and you can see the stairs right here, right? Trigger it, and then run. And there will be four revenants right here. I usually use this pillar as cover, but sometimes things may get hectic. You can just retreat back here. But still, you may get hit. Through this window, like fire, dude, fire. Like that. <laughs> I was talking about the revenants, though. <laughs> they don't want to. They don't want to fire, huh? Like that. So just be very careful when you are doing something like this. So I usually just go back and forth until you kill all the revenants. Huh. You can go this way. Okay. Then all the ribbons are gone. We can deal with the specters. Um, if you want to save ammo, you can uh, punch them out like that. But usually, I just like to run here. And kill them like this. Or if uh, you are you are brave enough, you can actually do all the specters right here. Then come come down here and fight with the revenants. This it is another good way to do it if you have a bunch of uh, cells because you are luckily trigger a bunch of infights before, so you save a bunch of cells, right? So you can actually just come down here to do it. Um, time to kill the Baron. Okay. 
hit the switch, the cage will open. Um, be careful about this. Um, chain gonna trap. I just wait for the cacodemons demons to come. And all the hard parts are done. So you just relax a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, then there are five imps on the left side. Two, three. Four and five. And sometimes the imp may go into the balcony holding the blue skull so just be careful because sometimes a bunch of imps can fire at you but uh, this time I got lucky go this way to the beginning I'll snipe off this revenant and a bunch of imps right here I actually have a bunch of shells left for some reason I don't know should be five in the cage, and you. Huh! Don't do what I did, huh? Well, I wasted a lot of time. I because I thought I can actually get. Them. Well, time to show how to find the revenants here and get bit in the ass. If they come too close, probably you you should switch to the shotgun. <laughs> oh, it's not good to do it with the shotgun though. Oh my my gameplay is just horrible this time. Remember to pick up the backpack. Well, time to do the time consuming job again. Okay, get all the ammo, the switch. Yeah. What the heck? I will need to redo all this video though. Or save more. I guess. So bear with me. Sorry about that. Safe. So you usually deal with uh, heat scanners, just you don't have to hit them to retreat, just retreat after a shot. You may think oh this is a waste of ammo but it's kind of safe because you never know which direction you may be hit. Three, four. Oh god, so bad. Just save more. Just don't want to waste waste your time, right? It's not a good idea. The problem for this map is they don't give you the rocket launcher until now and many of the part I mean many there are many good use for rocket launchers. So yeah. Okay, done. Then kill him. 
because I use chain gun for the Cacodemon, so I just use the regular shotgun to deal with him. If your ammo situation is something like like this, like 20 something uh, shells and like 20 something uh, cells, this is pretty nice. So, first secret is in the corner. Hit the rocket launcher and pick up all these uh, little cells. And the second secret is that soul sphere, but you have to get it on the other side. So, get the red skull up. I mean, the blue skull, just retreat. There will be a Cacodemon coming from the right. Wait, where is he? Two revenants uh, uh, and quite some imps. I usually use the rocket launcher to kill the kill the revenants. Okay, then, wait, where's the other one? Oh, it's right there. It's safer for you to kill the man cubine up here. Okay, and there are, there is some ammo right here. Remember to get it and attack the secret. Okay, so take the teleporter back. And uh, here's kind of the uh, final trap. Uh, hit the blue skull switch and just don't drop down because when you take the teleporter, you may immediately get shot by uh, by some chain gunners. So come here and trigger this Oswald. I usually like to retreat. And deal with him like this. And try not to kill anyone, right? Uh, in this hallway, otherwise he may resurrect something, which is not very cool. Two chainers and one imp. Oh, nice. Just do it like this. Just fire blindly and retreat immediately. And two more imps. And run across, you can get another little cell right here. And two revenants. And I once got hit by this Revenant, I mean this Revenant, so it's kind of bad. And the last enemy is this Archwile. Done. Well, I'm, I was not doing a good job while, uh, while doing the commentary and playing the map at the same time, but you sort, uh, sort of get my idea, right? Um, this map, if you ask me, I think um, it's less difficult than uh, Cliffside Siege, but um, but it's definitely some luck-based uh, portion, and also the open area with a bunch of like projectile-throwing enemies. You have to deal with them like in a step-by-step -step strategy to make sure you are safe from fires. So yeah, this is pretty much my thoughts about this uh, this map done in the, uh, UV Max reality. So thanks very much for watching. I apologize for the bad gameplay because I got hit so many times uh, and didn't save uh, properly. So I wasted a bunch of time replaying the same thing again and again. Yeah. That's why I thought I should have done this video again, but well, I'm kind of lazy. So, thanks. See you next time.